Some fans might protest that anime tropes like a character being sent to another world by Trakun or having a sword enemy thrown into an ally by episode 3 are too much. But the truth is that anime is partially popular because it's constructed with comfortable story elements that fans can identify immediately. Thanks to reliance on existing story and character conventions, we can generally tell right away what category any new show falls into and if it's for us. Anime hair color is another area where the character tropes of the past are generally respected by new creators. Let's look at some of the personality types tied to each color. Red hair. Anime girls with this hair color possess a fiery spirit and are often tomboys. They are most likely to break social norms. Blonde hair. You can get further away from a straight-laced Japanese identity than blonde hair, and this color represents foreignness. It usually represents a noble birth. Brown or black hair is the closest to ordinary Japanese coloring, so these characters will usually be the ones the creators intend Japanese viewers to identify with. Blue hair represents a character with a quiet calmness or shyness. This is the most common color for childhood friend characters. Pink hair. This color can signal more acuteness that anime studios pop fans will respond to but it can often indicate a murderous gender personality defect. White or silver hair. These characters often possess some supernatural ability or secret. By tradition, Russian characters are nearly always portrayed with this hair color. Around the decade of 2000s, fans started to notice that blue-haired anime girls didn't seem to get chosen in romance or harem anime series. This trope closely resembles the red shirt meme from Star Trek US. As with that meme, it's not totally accurate, only 10% of red shirts in the original Star Trek die on screen, and there are examples of blue haired girls who do end up in relationships. But it does seem to be cast that many anime creators love denying love to characters with blue hair. Now let's look at the most famous examples. Anna Tanigawa from Waiting in the Summer. One said blue hair anime girl was Kana, who loved her childhood friend Kaito. But humans are hardwired to prefer something fresh and new to what we're already familiar with. And what could be fresher than an alien? Ichigo from Darling in the Franks. Poor Ichigo suffered from the dual curses of blue hair and being a childhood friend. He never had any chance. Ruka Sarashina from Rent a Girlfriend. Although she's a fan favorite, Poor Ruka just can't get ahead in love. Due to a heart condition, she is looking for a love that can make her heart sore. Too bad Kazuya is such a darned Fuck. Sayaka Miki from Madoka Magica. Another incredibly tragic anime girl, the blue hair is Sayaka from Madoka Magica. Not only has Kyube tricked her into becoming a magical girl, but using her one wish to heal the hand of her crush doesn't result in her finding love. In fact, ends up erased from his memory entirely. Another iconic character who helped create the impression that no blue hair anime girl will ever find love is Rem from ReZero. Rui from Domestic Girlfriend. Although it was trash, I really love Domestic Girlfriend for telling a bold story that defined why we all continue to choose anime over more sanitized mainstream media. It was said when poor Rui lost romantically to her older sister. That was make family dinners together rather awkward. Kuroneko from Oremo. Finally, the one that hurts the worst is Rory from Oremo. She was the best girl in the series and, to many fans, the best anime wife ever. But Kyosuke chose his sister instead, breaking Kuroneko's heart forever. And fans, and fans still haven't forgiven him to this day. And that will be all for this video. I hope you liked it, and if you can. Subscribe and like video, that would mean a lot to me, and see you on the next one.